It's like, it's, it's like a relationship fight. You never let it go. No, you can't. No, bro, I, 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 I'll tell you this. Speak, speaking of money, you want to let it go. Give prepare reparations package for this for this for black people in this country. For people, and and, and, I, and I'll and I'll tell you this. You well, all owe that money. And also, don't be fooled. Don't like, be fooled. The, the money's got to come from somewhere. It's the difference between collective guilt and individual. Why well, don't well, you feel guilty? No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah and I because think, I didn't do it. I think more black collective. conservatives, but you benefited from it. You benefited from it, and you still benefit yeah, yeah, from yes. it. Yes. You know what's bad? Whenever Bill Maher is forced to shut you down for the ridiculously woke things that you were saying on Real Time with Bill Maher, because Bill has been saying ridiculously woke things for the longest amount of time. But every once in a while, when a guest comes on and says something absolutely ridiculous and, and just ridiculously woke, Bill Maher does, in fact, shut them down. This is one of those rare times, and it might be one of the craziest shutdowns that I have seen from Bill Maher, completely unexpected. Let's check this out. And the audience had some pretty crazy reactions to it as well. Let's get into this clip here from Real Time with Bill Maher of Bill absolutely shutting down this woke idiot for the absolutely insane things that are said here. Let's check this out. This is an artist for commerce are going to adjust. But when it comes to money, we have an infatuation with money in this country. You know, so much to the point we went and kidnapped a bunch of people 400 years ago, made them work for free and said, boom, greatest nation in the world. So. You know, right. Happy Black History Month. Happy Black History Month. Yeah, I, no, I, I, it's unbelievable. We didn't kidnap anyone, dude. Like they, they. I, I, also, I didn't kidnap anyone. So I don't know what you mean by we, because I, we, I didn't do that. Maybe you did, but also, nobody kidnapped anyone. Even the things that you're referring to, nobody was kidnapped. They were sold, and that's how the world worked back then. I'm not saying it was right. I'm not saying I'm glad about it. I wish it didn't happen. It's a horrible thing. But to say like, oh, Americans are so evil because we went and kidnapped people from Africa and, and made them, forced them to come here. We didn't go kidnap anybody. They were sold by their own people, you know, and that was still happening well after America abolished slavery, and it is still happening today. So it, it's crazy how these people will beg and beg, and you're, you're going to see in this clip, Bill Maher is forced to shut this guy down. But what this guy is going to end up clamoring for right here on Real Time with Bill Maher is reparations. He doesn't even know the history of the things that he's talking about, the things that he's complaining about. Crazy. It's like, it's, it's like a relationship fight. You never let it go. No, you can't. No, bro, I, 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 I'll tell you this. Speak, speaking of money, you want to let it go. Give Prepare reparations package for this, for this, for black people in this country. For people... And, 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 I, and, I'll, and I'll tell you this, the leader of the Fed Didn't said Didn't I something. buy dinner last time? Yeah, you did. You did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and the restaurant yeah, that, that does not count. You did. You offered to marry my wife if I died early. Yeah, absolutely. Too, so. But I, th I do think this country could benefit from a reparations package that included cash, that included reversal of redlining by helping black people be homeowners, understand credit, and understand Americans that if, well, a, if the black community has more money, this country has more money. Yeah, and, and we need to start seeing ourselves in a relationship. Right. As, long as, as long as we have the topic on the table, what do you think about that? I, uh, Vivek Ramaswamy just texted me his Taylor Swift playlist. I'm, I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'll pass Wait, well, you're dodging this question? I'll you're, dodge out. In terms of what, reparations? Reparations. Sending no, out a check. Uh, someone's got to pay. No, no, I, I'm not. I'm not for reparations. I'm not. I'm not for that at all. Um, at the end of the day, uh, this country owes 34 trillion, and the government doesn't owe that money. You well, all owe that money. And also, don't be fooled. Don't like, be fooled. The, the money's got to come from somewhere. It's the difference between collective guilt and individual. Why don't well, you feel guilty? No, I don't. I don't. Yeah, yeah and I because think, I didn't do it. I think more black collective, but you benefited from it. You benefited from it, and you still benefit yeah, yeah, from yeah, it. Yes, that's true yeah. too. That's so true my true. thing is, my thing is, just help spread the benefits. But okay, but you know, there are reparations that do go on in different ways. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and okay. I didn't say absolutely. Just give yeah. me a few million dollars, and I'm fine. No, I think that trade and higher level education. I do think the cash payout. I think that there should be a mortgage forgiveness. I think that we should have an incentive to incentivize black wealth in this country. Robert Smith, black billionaire, had an interesting conversation where he wanted to tax corporations 2% of wealth. Imagine what 2% of multi-billion dollar companies does for black, um, for black society. What it does is it creates a place where it's not perfect, but Atlanta black people have opportunity. And if you talk to Bre Governor Brian Kemp in Georgia, Georgia, we also have a Republican governor who I have a relationship with. For the last 10 years, we've been number one in business. We've created over 60,000 jobs and have more jobs coming. I would challenge you to, to help put together a reparations package that made the rest of America look more like the opportunity. Well, he's Georgia. from New Hampshire. That's yeah. not going to happen. Well, well, <laughs> but, but, if, but if, if I may, 
it's just it's so ridiculous man like and you guys all know this i'm not saying some like groundbreaking information but just even listening to this guy it, it, apparently his name's killer mike um nice nice name but um th listening to this guy like tell bill maher and these other guests that what we should do for the reparations we should incentivize black wealth incentives is what he said what the hell does that even mean like incentivize give an incentive to black people to get wealthy isn't the incentive that you're wealthy like what the hell are you talking about we should like what do we, what more do we have to do to incentivize black people to make money other than like if you don't do it you're broke you know it's like you either want it or you don't i don't care like why should i care about other people no matter what their color is getting wealthy if i want to be wealthy i'm going to go out there and make money if i don't care about it then i'm not going to care about it I, I, what does that even mean and like as far as the school systems go i guess sometimes you have a point where like public the public school system is absolutely awful like you you, you can't deny that and if if you know if you want to blame slavery for the fact that black families are forced to send their kids to public schools because on average a lot of black families are are you know poorer than other colors of people i guess you could make that argument a little bit for reparations i don't know i don't even know if he said that though he said in and this is his words not mine i know this sounds stupid doesn't make any sense he said incentivize black wealth incentives that doesn't even make any sense even if he said it the correct way it still doesn't make sense Lord knows I didn't want to get into a reparations discussion. It would, it would cost but, you hundreds of dollars you, up there. But, and then you got the, well, again, is it, what about the Native Americans who are, or, you know, you got, you got well, to go down the I list. Would, and well, and well, when we're done we with the reparations the back this year, what about You don't, you don't hear black generation. people arguing against yeah. reparations for anyone. We've never argued against re reservations. Yeah. We've never argued against any payouts for people America's wrong. We're simply saying, while we're at the table, let's do something to aid the people that until 60 years ago lived in apartheid. Okay, you, but, but like. 60 uh, years is not very long. With, with, with Native Americans, we gave them the, the casino industry. Yeah. What about, you know, Superman? Could black people have the marijuana industry? Well, I'm something like could that. We, could we, could we, look at his fucking face. Would you, would you give us, give us, give, like, that's what yeah. give us marijuana. Multi-billion dollar industry is still of, fresh, <laughs> it's still growing. Why doesn't Killer Mike have a marijuana I, I, license I, I, in Georgia? I'm, I'm out of the business. Will you call Brian so, Kemp for uh, me uh, now? Uh, I'll call Brian right now. I don't know where the discussion's going to go. Brian's a great friend, but... <laughs> I mean, if you're going to buy marijuana, I would suggest you do it at The Woods, which is the great uh, pot shop here in L.A., which I'm a part owner of with Woody Harrelson. Uh, okay, what do you think of the news that NASA says the moon is shrinking? <laughs> Fucking Biden. By the way, I, I don't, that's a crazy segue, but if we're talking about, like, giving black people the marijuana industry, I, I, what does that even mean? Number one, I, I could be wrong. I don't think we gave Native Americans the casino industry. I think that Native Americans have casinos on reservations. I'm pretty sure how it works, and I could be completely wrong. I'm, I'm, I'll fully admit I am not super educated on this. Just from talking to different people who are Native American, I'm pretty sure there's different casinos on or near the reservations. And those casinos, percentages of those casinos earnings and profits go to get spread out amongst the Native Americans that are from those tribes that were existing in America that are actually native to America. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? It's not like the entire casino industry has percentages sent off to Native Americans, correct? Let me know in the comments if I'm, if I'm wrong or right on that. So to say like we should give the entire marijuana industry to black people, what the hell does that even mean? Number two, the Native American situation and the, the black people situation is completely different. Like there were brutal things that happened to Native Americans, like their land was actually stolen. Whereas, and, and by the way, I don't think that's wrong either. Like I, I think we took it fair and square. Like instead of stolen, I, I prefer the word conquered because that's just how stuff worked back then. Like we just conquered the land. It's not that big of a deal. But he said that, you know, black people were stolen from Africa, kidnapped from Africa. You have a much better argument saying that America was stolen from Native Americans rather than black people were stolen from Africa. That's just a ridiculous statement, whereas you kind of have an argument that that America was stolen from Native Americans. I prefer the word conquered, fair and square. But yeah, horrible things happen. So I'm not super against the fact that they have reservations and that I'm pretty sure it's certain casinos get percentages sent over to Native Americans. But let me know if I'm wrong on that. <laughs> Right? right? Am I right? Thank you. But finally. Yeah. Finally, someone's talking some sense. We're perfectly fine under Trump. <laughs> <laughs> and now. 
I was excited that I didn't have to do the reparations question yeah. and then got okay. the moon question, <laughs> which could be more complicated. Doesn't that go in your headlines that shouldn't exist I, uh, bucket? It, it really should. I mean, but apparently, I read this too in USA Today, uh, apparently it, the moon, because the core is cooling or something. It's our fault. <laughs> yeah, it's it's global warming. It's it's the climate change. It's it's all that. You know, Republicans. You know that they're just evil. Let me know in the comments about what you think about Bill Maher having to shut down this woke idiot for ridiculous statements about about reparations and all the other stuff that he talked about. That it's funny how all these people who cry so much about that stuff have literally no idea how things went down. Like saying that you know we kidnapped people from Africa. It's it's just so dumb. Let me know in the comments though what you think about this whole episode here of Real Time with Bill Maher. If you enjoy content like this, then make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out a ton. Let's get back to the video.